Hey guys, have you ever wondered wh what the difference is when you use eco mode versus max mode for your AC? Well, just experimenting a little, I'm basically having it charged up and right now it's on eco mode and I'm basically getting about, it's charging at about one kilowatt of hour rate. But if I turned it off or turn to max, it basically gets, I think, Huh, it should probably, ooh, see? It starts going to a 0.5, a 0.5 kilowatt. So it's using half a kilowatt more to have a, on the AC on max level instead of the other one. So if we turn it off completely and it does have fan, in other words, you turn off, you know, all air, AC conditioning in this car. Let's see, went to minus one kilowatt to Boom, 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 boom. Hmm. No change, really? Maybe not. Okay, maybe maybe it isn't doing that. So let's turn off AC. Turning off AC, we get a whole minus two kilowatt hours. So basically, it uses about a whole kilowatt to use AC in this car um, to, to use the battery. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Anyways, this is like uh, my weekly update thing. This is another fun thing to so just find out and try out on the 2017 vote. So it's awfully getting warm in here, so I'm going to go ahead and turn on the AC again. Instead, I'm going to use auto. So I'm going to turn it to completely auto by itself. So it's charging at minus 2 kilowatts with the car on. Now that's set to max with its own fan speed and everything. It is from minus two. I'm gonna assume it's gonna drop back to minus one or minus one point or minus point five. It's only fan that's going higher and higher. Minus point five. Of course, my thermostat is actually set at sixteen degrees. So right now it's actually using battery time battery. As you can see, it's actually, let me lower the thing a little bit, it's actually minus one and then it was at, uh, using one half a kilowatt so it couldn't really charge and use the systems at the same time. Right now it's just charging a little bit. Usually these level two chargers, they give out about three kilowatt hours or 3.5 kilowatt hours um, per hour uh, to charge your charger every boat. But right now, we're basically heading up at about half a kilowatt hour. So it's using a good amount of power just keeping the car on and turning the AC on. I'm going to assume that if we do a pre-charge, in other words, um, if we set it so that the car, before we enter the car, we pre-charge it and have the AC on and have it pre-charged to pre-account, basically have the temperature set for the car before entering the car and then it do that by Grid power, it's probably gonna do the same thing. It's probably gonna power up your engine and start the air compressors for the AC and start charging really slowly. Uh, but you're still plugged in, so I don't see the point of that, especially when you can just open the window to cool all down your car. Um, in or I guess in winter, I we live in Southern California, so it's pretty hot. So it would be nice to do it this way, but I usually don't because I think that's a waste of energy. It's probably better if we just open the windows and you know let the hot air go out, then turn on the AC. It's quite much better on your your battery con and everything else. Anyways, so that's my that's a quick vlog for this for this week. Thanks for watching again and please like and subscribe. If you have any other things you ever wonder about the Chevy Vote, you know, and want to try out, let me know. I'd like to play around with this vote and every week I try to find something new about, to talk about. Awesome. Just turning everything off now. Going back to eco mode. Have a good one. Take care.